Hi all, Amber Celestial Angel here, and I wanted to bring a message and video here for you on um, grace and mercy and on, on yourself and what God, the one, the Almighty, brings you and more in depth of that, of feelings about yourself and how you feel about yourself and maybe things that may be coming up. So this is the season of change, right? A lot of things falling away. I've been speaking on this. And um, as this happens, you may experience feelings of, um, you know, emotional things, guilt, shame, um, unworthiness, uh, fear of all these are stemmed in fear, of course, but fear of the change itself. And, um, so as these things come up, as these emotions come up, as these feelings may come up, I'm here to say, and to bring a reminder and message of allowing those things to come up that may be coming up. Um, and this is really a time we are coming into, we've been in this time, but now we're kind of moving through. So allowing the emotions, the upsets to come up and come through and release and letting yourself feel those things. If you feel those things, those certain emotions and feelings, you have to face them. It's the mirror. You've got to face those feelings that you may be feeling about yourself if you're going through those shame depression guilt um unworthiness or being even feeling lost face anything that's coming up or has come up and maybe you've tried to push it down no bring it up face it and look at it and as you're looking at it let the emotion come through. Why you feel that way. Why you may be feeling that way. Ask that question. And you will receive the answer. It will come for you. And so allow the feeling and allow it to come through. Allow the healing. This is healing. This is the healing process. I'm also going to share a, um, a writing that I've written about this as well for, um, for you all. So... As you also do that, and this is the healing process, then you also surrender, right? When you finally felt that allow the emotions to come through, usually you're probably going to feel sadness or hurt or pain, right? The pain has to happen for the, the healing to take place. It's got to happen. So allow it. Feel it. You've got to feel to heal and, um, and give it to God, surrender it, surrender, surrender it all and forgive yourself, others, if they're involved, forgiveness, have mercy on yourself, grace on yourself, allow him, the almighty to have grace and mercy on you and to help you through it. And that's why it's important to have the Almighty, the one, the Most High in your life with you on this walk because that is also your support. That is also your guide, right? Your guide and your support. You have to have that to be on the true walk, to be on that walk and in that light of love and truth. It's your anchor. It's your guiding light. For you to be that guiding light, you've got to have that connection, right, that I speak of. And allow him, it, your angels, the angels, of course, to comfort you, to work through it. Having grace, mercy, and that most of all, that unconditional love, you feel Fill those cracks and those hurt pieces with love. That's how you heal it. You fill it back up with all the love. And that's what's important about loving yourself. Love yourself as 
love your neighbor as you love yourself, right? You've got to love yourself as well. Fill up those voids, those um, pieces with instead the good things, the healing things, forgiveness, grace. worthiness, knowing you're worthy, love. Okay, so um, now I'm going to share this with you all as well. My heart has been broken. It has yearned for you a thousand times and a thousand more over. But I have come to find rest in the solace of my heart, the place where the light has entered after the cracks had to be bestowed. For how could I have known a love so deeply, so purely, without having missed it? It had to hurt. It had to break for me to find you. You were always there, but I didn't know it until I knew you. And for me to know you, I had to die. I had to be in pain. I had to suffer. And I had to die over and over again to finally, truly live. My heart has become more and more like the olive tree, having to tend it year after year, 80 to mature. What loyalty this takes. It can only grow stronger and wiser with each passing year, each passage of time. The hands that tend to this garden, this heart, have to be quite mighty to withstand, and they are. They are the hands of the Almighty who directs our every step, every move, He's the tender, we are the gardener. With his direction and guidance, we are never led astray. My garden, my heart, remains pure and true in his hands. I know he holds me preciously. So, this is kind of a, a writing that I wrote of all the times, right? I physically die, I physically had a near-death experience. I speak of that in my playlists. There are those... Um, interviews I've done on that, on my near-death experience, and how that was a death that brought me to life, brought me to my spiritual awakening, to God, to the One, the Almighty, to the love, right? And then you find as you're on this journey, you've got to die over and over and over again in a spiritual sense. You've got to die to live. You, It just is the process. Your old self and your ego self has to die away. You know, the addictions, the habits, the guilt, these, these things, negative thinking, that the thoughts about yourself have to die away for you to move forward, for you to move on, right? And it's a process, but it's for your highest and best. If you choose this path, we're led by the Most High and... It's a process and you become more and more pure and light and, and holy, you know, healed. And it takes patience, yes, and that's why I speak of the olive tree in this. And in you, if you read in the, in the Bible about the olive tree and how long it takes. And sometimes it, it, it can take a while, but we only grow stronger with each, each shedding right? Each falling away, we're stronger and wiser, more holy, more light, and it's just beautiful. And we are closer and closer in and with ourselves and the one as we continue this process. So hold strong, stand strong, and um, allow the process. That's it for this video. If you would like any sessions or services, you can visit my website, ambrocelestialangel.com. Much love, many blessings.